Hey, I'm Christopher JMUA and welcome back to my channel. Unless you've never been here, of course, so then welcome. I am so glad you've stopped by. Today, we're gonna be doing a full face of brand new products, whether that be brand new to the market, like the Jaclyn Cosmetics Bronze and Blushing Duos or the Milk Makeup Color Chalks, as well as some products that are just new to me, like the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder and Banana, as well as a few other items here that we're gonna test out today, try. And as you can see, I have already completed my eye makeup. This is actually my review of the 35S Sweet Oasis palette from Morphe. I'll leave that video linked right up here if you wanna watch that review as well. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. If you would like to see what all products I have here in front of me, if you'd like to see them being put on my face and my initial first impressions of these products, then stay exactly where you are, keep doing exactly what you're doing, and keep on watching. I did go ahead and start off camera by using the Makeup Revolution Pore Perfecting Primer. I just don't have anything in front of me that's pore filling and I need something that's pore filling, especially before I go in with this next product, which is the Makeup Revolution Fix and Glow Ultra Glow Primer. Now this was sent to me in PR from Makeup Revolution. Actually, most of the Makeup Revolution stuff I have in front of me was sent in PR, hence why I'm giving it a shot today. Now it shows this is $12 on the Makeup Revolution website and let's just take a pump or two and see what it looks like. Ooh, that's really pretty. And it's a lot sheerer than I thought it was gonna be. Wow, okay, I'll take it. I'm also gonna give my face a little spritz with this Revolution Niacinamide Clarifying Essence Spray. And this is $7 on the Makeup Revolution website. I absolutely love anything with niacinamide on it. It always helps my pores appear so much smaller and it almost seems to tighten the skin a little bit. I love it, it makes skin look great. So I wanna try this. Mmm, it smells like roses, but light roses. No, kind of strong roses. It's dissipating really fast. I can't smell it for very long. Now the next product I'm a little unsure of, this is the NYX Bear With Me Luminous Tinted Skin Serum. It says sheer on the package. When I bought it, all I really saw was that it said new on the Ulta shelf, and I assumed it was gonna be more like medium coverage. Now I see that it is sheer. So we're gonna give it a shot and try it for the $17 that I paid for it. However, I did also grab this little sample of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation, just in case the serum is a little too sheer for me and my taste, just so I can build up a little bit of an extra thumb thumb, if you know what I mean. So on the back of the box, it says twist off the cap and then squeeze the dropper. So it's a dropper, twist this off. Oh, that's the little cap. That's cute. And I'm definitely gonna be using a brush for this rather than a sponge. A sponge is gonna soak up everything. So let me just take a couple few drops. Hello, do I squeeze this? Oh, yes, oh that's so interesting. Oh wow, that's a lot thicker than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be kind of watery, sort of like the um, Hint Hint Skin Tint from Morphe 2. I assumed it was gonna be kind of like that, where it's just like a watery skincare kind of product. Looks like a good shade match. Oh, I got the shade light medium, by the way. I think there were maybe five or six shades, but they say on the side of the box that since it's a sheer luminous finish, that the sheer coverage works across a wide variety of light to medium skin tones. So I guess your undertone is kind of irrelevant as long as you just pick the right shade. Okay, so yes, sheer is definitely correct. Honestly, so far, I don't really even see any coverage. I don't see it doing any kind of color correcting or anything. See, that looks pretty. Can I just get that everywhere? <laughs> it's such an odd consistency. I don't know that I've really ever felt the foundation that felt like this. 
I will say though, the finish that it's leaving behind is very luminous. It's very pretty. It definitely gives me glowy skin vibes. Plus, I used a glowy primer, so that definitely helped that a little bit. Can you guys tell any difference? Does it look like I have any kind of coverage at all? I don't really know if I can tell. I have no clue. I think I'm going crazy or something because I literally can't see it correcting anything. Don't get me wrong, I know it's sheer. It's not gonna give me drag queen coverage, but I do want a little bit. This much. That's how much I want. Okay, well, got that all built up on the other side the same way. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move in to the Giorgio Armani now. Oh, <gasps> coverage. Hello, coverage. Oh, you're so beautiful. Actually, I need to make sure that I put some everywhere because this is a little bitty bottle. I'm afraid it's gonna run out any second. I don't even know how much is in here. 0.16 fluid ounces. It's like nothing. That's like half an application for me. I actually really, really like these two together. My skin looks so glowy. I'm so excited, it looks so beautiful. I was so worried. Just when using the NYX product, I was just, I was scared. Now let's make this under eye darkness disappear, hopefully. I'm gonna use the ELF Flawless Brightening Concealer. I got this one from Ulta for $5 and hopefully it's great. It also says that it's luminous as well, so it should pair very nicely with my super luminous face at the moment. And it looks like on the Ulta website there are 12 different shades. Oh, it's a clicky pin. It's like the teeth whitening pins. Hello, are you coming out? Come out to play with us. I'm gonna take a little on the forehead, down the nose, cupid's bow, and chin. Okay, yes I see brightening, yes I see luminosity, and yes I see five dollars very well spent. That is beautiful, wow, it's just stunning. Anyway, now I need to set the face. I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Banana, but I'm only gonna use that on my under eyes and my forehead, where I have the most fine lines, if you will, and that's where I'm gonna bake. Then I'm just gonna go in with a pressed powder of any kind and set the actual rest of my face, just so it's not creamy and tacky anymore. Oh, and the loose baking powder is $8 as well, and I think it comes in six shades, five or six shades. I am now banana brightened. So I'm just gonna take my Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder and just go ahead and set the rest of my face. Now I definitely need some definition to the face. I feel very flat and very pale. So we're gonna use the Jaclyn Cosmetics Bronze and Blushing Duos. Now these are $36 each. I got two different shades. This one has Pink Me Up and Oh Honey as the blush and bronzer. And this one has Lilac Love and Top as the blush and bronzer. This is really heavy. <laughs> like it's super weighted. Oh wow. And super luxurious. I like that. I think I just like it because it's so heavy. It feels like a luxury product. So this one is Pink Me Up and Oh Honey. And then Lilac Love and Top Tan. The bronzer in this one seems a little bit deeper, and then the bronzer in here almost seems like it's kind of cool toned, closer to maybe like a contour. So I think I'm gonna try the Pink Me Up and Oh Honey and give that a shot. I don't even know if this is gonna show up on my skin. It looks way too light for me. There we go. Okay, I can see it giving me a little bit of a bronze. Now let's use blush. I feel like I like myself some more lilac-y tones or mauve tones more than anything else. So let's go in with Lilac Love. Beautiful color. A lot more pink than what I thought. And then a little boop boop on the nose. Then a couple little boop boops over here. And over here. And right here. And that's it for blush. Pleasantly surprised. That's actually really beautiful. We're gonna try these Milk Makeup Color Chalks first. I've got the shades Trampoline, Hot Scotch, and Tag. I hope at least one of them is light enough to use as a highlighter. But before I go in with that, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with this Makeup Revolution Hyaluronic Fix 
Hydrating and Plumping Makeup Fixing Spray. I really just want to set all of the powders on my face with this so that whenever I go in with the highlighter, it will be like, BLAM! You know what I mean? Plus, it's got hyaluronic acid in it, so what's not to love? And I think that setting spray is also $8. Now these Milk Makeup Color Chalks are $8 each. And I got these probably maybe a, a week and a half after they came out or so. But I could not figure out for the life of me how to put it in a YouTube video for a review. I mean with three little chalk sticks of color, what can you really do, you know? Especially if I don't really know what it is or like how to use it yet. But I'm hoping using it as a highlighter is going to be effective. So here's what the component looks like as soon as you take it out of the box. Oh, it's broken. Well, I'm sure it doesn't matter. It's a chalk. This is weird. I mean, it's dry and a chalk, but it's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And there is Hopscotch, the middle shade. It's more of a beigey, peachy kind of highlight, but it definitely still looks like a highlight. Now, I think maybe my favorite, out of these three, anyway, Trampoline. Oh, it's so dark. And there's Trampoline, like a black, gray, silver. These are so interesting. So let me try with just a dense highlighter brush and see if I can just take some of it on the brush. It's <laughs> falling everywhere. I don't know what to do or how to do it. That was like the smallest amount, and I still got a little bit of glow out of it. Definitely picks it up with the finger. Applies well with the finger. Next, it is time for some eyeliner. I need some in the waterline. Obviously, I've already got a little wing here, but that's eyeshadow. And for eyeliner, we have the brand new Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliners. These are $10.89 each, and it looks like we've got nine shades of this new launch. A purple, a green, a black, a brown, a nude, a navy, a white, a maroon, and a gray. They also sent over a duochrome pigment, a foiled pigment, a loose pigment, and another foiled pigment. But we're not gonna be using the pigments today since we kind of maxed out all the pigments we can use. So now for eyeliner. It's either gonna be black, brown, nude, or white. You know what, let's just roll with classic black. You can't go wrong with black. And I've actually never used the Makeup Geek eyeliner formula before, so I am excited to see how it performs. Wow, okay, really creamy. It literally put pigment on the moment I touched my waterline. That was perfect. That was literally perfect. It's creamy, it's smooth. What does it say about it? Cruelty-free, easy glide formula, yes. Long wearing, we'll see. Nine richly pigmented shades. Okay, well we'll see about the long wearing part. And now it is time for mascara. We have the Makeup Revolution Lash and Lift 5D Mascara. This is in the shade Super Black and it is only $10 at Ulta. Before I put the mascara on though, I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and curl my lashes and then I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna zoom you guys in first so that you can actually see it close up being applied. But first, this is what the component looks like. It's just a light, cute little mascara component. That's all it is, you know? Okay, so now let's get you zoomed in. When they say lift and define, they mean lift and define. My lashes look so good. They look really, really long. They held their curl. They look fluffy and very lash-like. 
So now, before we finish off with the lips, this Makeup Revolution lipstick, I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and finish off my lower lash line so that my eyeshadow will be completely done, then we can get the entire finished look. So I will see you guys in just a second. So, I got my lower lash eyeshadow applied and my lower lash mascara applied. Now, let's finish off this look. Oh, and I finished my brows. They need it done bad. But now let's try this Makeup Revolution Lip Vinyl in the shade Thirsty. <laughs> what a coincidence. And these lip vinyls go for $7 on the Ulta website and the Makeup Revolution website. I can't tell if this is a red. At first I thought it was a red. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is really bright. That is one of the most pigmented glosses I have ever used. And the shade is like, I thought it was red in here. And I mean, yeah, it's red, but it's really orange. It's a very orange based red. And now let me give you guys my final impression of my first impressions. Starting out the Fix and Glow Primer. This stuff is gorgeous. And for as affordable as it is, I think this is something that I'm gonna start using daily just with my regular skin because it looked really beautiful just on bare skin. Then the Niacinamide Clarifying Essence Spray. I can't really say whether I like this or not because I've tried it once. And this is more like skincare kind of product, in my opinion anyway. And I feel like to establish a real understanding on if it works or not, it's gonna take at least a month to know that. Same thing with the Hyaluronic Fix Setting Spray. Then the amazing NYX Bear With Me Luminous Tinted Skin Serum. I don't like it. Really though, in all seriousness, I love the serum part of this, the luminous serum. It looked beautiful on the skin. However, I couldn't see any coverage. And I understand it's a serum and it's supposed to be sheer coverage, but sheer is still not none. And I didn't see any. Then the Flawless Brightening Concealer. Yes, 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 yes. 10 out of 10, recommend. Or I guess since it was $5, five out of five, recommend. All $5 I would pay again for this. Then the Banana Luxury Baking Powder. I actually really didn't like this. It didn't do very well for me personally setting my under eyes and my forehead. It did set them, but I was creasing already very quickly under my eyes. And I can't know if that was the concealer or primarily the powder. So I'll have to give it more of a shot with some of my own concealers that I've used before. But just so far, I think it was the powder, which is kind of a shame because I've heard so many amazing things about this powder. I feel like if I just use it with the right combination combination of products, then I'll be fine. Speaking of the foundation, I forgot to mention it a second ago, but the Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation, I really liked this. From what I tried of it, I liked it. I will have to try it without that serum foundation underneath though, because that sort of makes it hard to tell what was so glowy. Obviously the primer was, but this is also luminous. Then the Jaclyn Bronze and Blushing Duos. I like these a lot, so I can't wait to get more shades and I can't wait to see what more she releases of products like that. Then the Milk Makeup Color Chalks. I don't know guys, yes, it's beautiful and stunning and glowy and shimmery. I think I just need to play with them more though so I can kind of get the hang of how you're supposed to use them. It definitely worked better whenever I either took my finger in and warmed it up and then put it on or went in with the brush. However, the brush method got glitter and powder particles everywhere. So maybe just use your finger. And then the Makeup Geek liners, what were they called? Full spectrum eyeliners. Oh, full spectrum, like the rainbow, I get it. This was super smooth and went on really well and really quickly. It even built up over itself super nicely. It didn't start doing that like peel and drag thing that happens if you have dry eyeliner on your waterline and you try to go over it again where it just kind of picks up and moves it. It didn't do that. It went over itself beautifully. Then we have the amazing Makeup Revolution Lift and Define 5D Lash Extra Dimension Mascara. All of that's true. I agree with everything they just said in that title. It did amazing things for my lashes on the top and the bottom. I got length. I got volume. In fact, I got more length than what it seems like my lashes actually are. And I didn't see any fibers in it, so I don't really understand how it did that, unless it just stretches them out or something. I don't really know. And with the lip vinyl, that is the last product in this full face of first impressions. 
So what do you guys think? What was your favorite product from this video? Have you tried everything that I tried today? Have you tried none of what I've tried today? Let me know in the comments. You guys know I always love to hang out down there with you. Anyway guys, that's it for me for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up just to let me know that you did. It does help me understand what content you guys enjoy and it helps me create even better content for you guys. Also, if you like this look and you wanna see more looks like them, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. My username is the same for everything. It's just Christopher JMUA. And if you gain nothing out of this video, if you gain nothing out of any of my videos, please at least gain this. And that is to always remember and to never forget that you are absolutely beautiful. And I love you guys. Bye.